What's up, dudes and dudes? It's your man, Evan Beat, broadcasting live from The Butt Cave. And tonight, I'm joined by my man, Kay. Yeah! <laughs> and we're bringing you another episode in my Nerf Thrifting series. In this series, I go to thrift stores over the course of the week. I buy Nerf and Nerf-like products. And then I bring them here to show to you. And uh, I'll tell you, if I can, what I paid for them, um, where I found them, what I plan to do with them, and uh, what they are. So uh, we'll go ahead and without further ado, just crack into the pile. Uh, first goes first. What's that? Hey, strong arm! Yeah. It's a Nerf Elite Strong Arm. Pretty cool. Um, always been a fan of the Strong Arm. Hey, do me a favor, grab the dirt bucket over there. And drag that over here. Okay. My man Kay, uh, it's kind of nice to have an assistant handy. Don't hit the thing. Good work. And what we'll do, that's the whole reason to have kids, is so that you don't have to do that kind of stuff yourself. So let's load this up real quick and see if it works. What do you say? Mm -hmm. right, Hopefully put... it works well. I like the strong one. I've always thought of it as a pretty well-functioning blaster. Womp! Not, uh, not terrible performance there. Cool. Can I try blasting it? Sure. Blaster. Pretty good shape then, huh? All right, up next. It's a Titan. Oh, yeah. The Wait, gauge is... works. They tank in the air seal. Is this a Titan missile? It's not working apparently. No, it's not a Titan missile. Oh, there we go. I do have this little goofy Titan missile I made. If we uh, try out every single blaster twice, we are going to find ourselves in a video that lasts way too long. So, let's try. Go ahead, give a squeeze. Not bad. So, the Titan totally works, and it apparently was 393. My brother actually brought this down from Columbus today, um, and uh, basically, he had called me and said, uh, are you interested in a Titan? And I said, I am always interested in functional Titans. So that's pretty cool. All right, we got an Instrike Maverick. We got an Instrike Maverick. Uh, what else we got? We got a Night Finder. We got... Ooh, we got a Nerf Walkie Talkie. This uh, matches... I have another one of these... Uh, Yellow and strike ones, so I gotta dig it out of the buckets, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I got a tripod for a Vulcan. We got. What is that? Vulcan chain! That's a Vulcan chain. With the green figure. One of my favorites, we got a. Oh, it doesn't look like it's working. Um, it has batteries in it, so my battery's either dead or this is broken, but I got another. Uh, tech Target. Uh, I paid 99 cents for that one. So, super sweet. That'll go in the butt range. I got this. And I found this in a bucket at the, uh, at the Goodwill outlet. And I was so excited because I saw the handle sticking out. And from uh, several feet away, I could tell that the handle was in good shape. And I walked up to it and I grabbed it and... It's broken. Um, I still bought it anyway. Here, you seem really excited about that for some reason. Yeah, this is... When we got these out of the car, like, this one, I was like, I can't wait for this baby. Unfortunately, it's broken, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take a saw and, uh, and and smooth that edge out, and we're just going to have like a uh, like the shards of Narseal kind of sword. Um, it'll be kind of Return of the Kingy. Um, but, uh, you know, Marauder Sword uh, in, 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 in new condition is uh, definitely valuable. In this condition, uh, not valuable at all. But uh, it was too, too nice a shape in the handle for me to pass it up. So that's pretty cool. 
Yeah. All right, what else do we got in here? A lot of stuff. You like that. Yes, I what love is that? I love the rough cut. Really nice shape. Go blast it real quick. Go ahead. Well, I got some darts. Working rough cut. Uh -huh. uh, we got a, uh, what are these, the far shots? The yeah, far shots are. Working far shots that I paid 99 cents for. Uh, this rough cut was another one that my brother brought. So uh, that's pretty cool. Sweet. Uh, we got a Spectre stock. We got a full Spectre. Um, it's got a sticker on it that says 10 bucks, but I know I didn't pay 10 bucks for it. Oh, I this I got at... Uh, the Goodwill Outlet. Um, the Spectre is uh, Spectre-y. Um, not the best blaster, but uh, you know, it, one thing we do have here is we've got a Spectre we could put that uh, tank from that Titan in and do like the uh, Walcom Absolver Spectre. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a big fan of those stocks because they're super floppy. Um, I... Well, they have a lock on them. They have a lock. Yeah, but it's still real. Look at this. It's a real flimsy. Oh, yeah. So when you hold the blaster, it wobbles quite a bit. Um, we got this, uh, I believe this is called the Speed Swarm. Um, and Rebel did one, uh, a repaint of this called the, uh, Power Bell. Um, I don't know if this one works or not. Um, it, uh, it doesn't have working batteries in it, but this was another one my brother found and he paid $3.93 for it. I don't have one of these, so I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm definitely going to pop some batteries in this uh, tonight now that it's in the house and uh, ch check out and see if that works. Um, along that same line, we also found another swarm fire. So this is like swarm fire number six, I think, for me. Um, Again, it has batteries in it, um, but they are obviously dead. So I don't know if this is totally functional or not, but it has the battery door, which um, is the biggest requirement for me, to, whether I'm going to pick up one. Um, he paid slightly more than I probably would for it, six bucks. But, uh, you know, he's uh, he's keeping an eye out for nerd <laughs> stuff for me too for the show. And I think on that one he actually called me and was like, I'll get it if you want it, so... All right, we've got a buzz saw here. Let's, uh, in every FB Nerf video, there's a buzz saw that winds its way down in the background for a while. I think this is the Extreme Ball Zooka or the Ball Blast or the Blast. It's not the Blast Ball. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't remember what this one's called. I know this is from 93. I know this is super old. It does not function, but um, I don't know. We'll give it a pop a ball on it and see if we can get it to It totally works. <laughs> so I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it's 90, 1994. So uh, the year before the infamous crossbow. That's what I Awesome blaster. That is one awesome blaster. In Strike Maverick. Another one. I'm kind of getting flooded in Nerf blasters. Oh, that's cool. A couple recon lights. You could and you could just stack up a whole load of recon lights and you got the ultimate flashlight. We got a couple of in Strike Night Finders. We got a triad and another triad. You want to try that one out? I'll try this one out. You ready? Just need nope. one. Just one. I'm just gonna fill up three because I can. They work. We got a Spring Donor 6, which uh, doesn't matter if it works or not, because that's totally being used to take a spring out of. Uh, we got a Reactor. You're, I don't know if you've ever played with a Reactor, have you? Yes. Alright, so uh, there's a Koosh Ball. Koosh 
Oops. That reactor just reacted. Ha. Ha. Uh, here is a Busby belt blaster, which I found at the thrift store. I paid a dollar eighty nine for this, and unfortunately, it did not have its belt. But I know that I have um, some belts for this uh, back in the uh, the back of the butt cave. So. Um, I'm pretty sure it works because it's, it's just got a nice thump to it. Oh, definitely, um, definitely get the seal there. So, that is a working uh, belt blaster. I found a demolisher 2x4. I actually, hey, will you go over there and grab me a magazine? Let's sure. see if this works. The blasters are taking over. That's kind of what they do. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I just need one. Just one. Here's a 35 round. 35 round? Um, and if it does work, the batteries are dead. Alas. Thanks, buddy. But, demolish your two in one. Here, we can test and see if the amp works. This a one time. <laughs> what did you even say? Uh, it's from a, a movie from before you were born called In the Army Now. I think the blaster just took over too much. I don't think I can fit myself there. Really? Yeah. Like really, I have this much space to sit in. Uh -huh. uh, I'm getting by blaster. I found another one of these marshmallow blasters that totally works. Um, I'm pretty excited about this one because I turned that, so you guys saw me turn that executive one into a blaster. Ooh. This just has the nicest pop to it. I love those. Um, here is a foam Lego pirate hook. Guess I'll put this on for the rest of the video. Do you know any pirate jokes? What did the pirate say when he's cold? What did the pirate say when he was cold? I don't know. What did the pirate Shiver say? Shiver me timbers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what a pirate's favorite movie is? No. Ones that are rated R. <laughs> Another Vulcan chain. Um, it's kind of cool because I got two, the two different kinds. I got this one that has like the kind of half open end, and this one that's got the full circular thing. Uh, I've never really understood why they do that. If somebody knows, let me know. Uh, recon? Recon. I'm getting flooded in recon. You gotta get them over. No, they just come back. Recon. With its stock. We got Nightfinder. That was the only time ever I Dark wasn't happy to see a Night Finder. And Strike Maverick. Because it's just making this pile bigger. And Strike Maverick. Ow. One of those little dark tag guys. You, you can't put them over for me. You're, you're about buried in plastic. <laughs> I found a Nerf Super Max 750, which. It appears that the tank works, so that's pretty cool. I didn't have one of these. This is definitely a vintage blaster. Um, I definitely don't have any other darts for these handy. What are you doing? Sitting up so I can possibly see. See what? Anything? <laughs> Here is a clear series deploy. Um, if you guys, fans of my channel know that I am a huge fan of the Depoy, even though it is kind of notoriously known as the world's crappiest blaster. I don't know if the light on this works. It does not appear to. But uh, other than that, she's in good shape. And she is uh, relatively clear, as opposed to uh, the ones that tend to be not so clear and kind of frosted on the inside. Um, this one's still in good shape. I paid $2.99 for that one. Oh, I have a long shot scope. That's 
awesome. Yeah. I have this hilarious crossbow, which, I don't know, let's get it. All crossbows are awesome, Daddy. All crossbows are awesome. This has got just like a killer plunger tube in it, if I remember correctly, like the seal on this. Yeah, like, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just a really, really good seal on this. It's but okay if I try firing it. It's, you gotta hit that thing. Yes? Yep. Nice work. Wow. Yeah, pretty, pretty powerful for what it is. I got my hands on a hyperfire. Um, which I guess they're not green ones, so these are just the dark tag, whatever they named them for the dark tag one. But um, I don't know, that's a joke on the internet right now. And last but not least this week, another <laughs> Raven. Um, I actually did not thrift this one, I bought this one from uh, a buddy of mine here in town. Um, who I, uh, I texted and let him know that I was in the market for a raven and sure enough he had a couple extras so um, I got this for a, a really good deal um, this dude's uh, super cool I, I'm, I don't really want to mention his name because he tends to be um, a little internet shy but suffice to say that uh, he's a buddy that I've made in my town that um, does amazing flywheel mods um, super cool paint jobs and uh, he, uh, I don't know, I'm, on a, I'm trying to prod him into uh, uh, doing a YouTube channel of his own. So sometime, uh, possibly soon, we're going to see that happen. But definitely nice to have a raven in my, uh, another raven in my midst. Uh, this is my fourth raven and uh, my second green one. And this one's actually going to get uh, full modification, uh, both uh, internals and cosmetics, uh, MTB motors and rewire and all the stuff. Um, if I can get it done before NBZ, that's going to happen, but chances are it won't. So I might be bringing it to me, to NBZ with me to, uh, I don't know, work on it there. And then one more thing, I got these clearance K4 starts. Um, he, he's been building the, the, the K4 sets, so uh, I got him some darts to uh, play with that. And that looks like that is the kitten caboodle. What's going on, man? Nothing. What you doing? Playing with this hook, it's awesome. Playing with the hook. All right, guys. So that's uh, that's our thrifting video for the weekend. You get to see the uh, the pile that he is uh, slowly being crushed by. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, this next coming up week, I will not be having a thrifting video because I will be uh, at NBZ. So um, thank you so much for uh, watching. There will be definitely tons of content that comes uh, involved with that. And uh, Kate, you got any goodbyes? Bye. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, guys, this is Evan B. saying peace and hair grease. Much love. Be super nice to one another. Uh, don't get an Annie on you. Duke de Luke Duke. Nerf on. Night, guys. Oh. <laughs>